I would hope nobody is taking away from this discussion that I don't think you should be in the sun. To be clear, I think the physical and psychological costs of not being in the sun um, are catastrophic. So I really think that when it comes to how we interact with the sun, it's a classic example of an inverted U, right? And th these occur so much in biology, right? Most of biology is U-shaped curves and inverted U-shaped curves. Very few things are purely monotonically increasing or purely monotonically decreasing. If you put yourself in a bubble with zero UV exposure and you know only get your vitamin D from supplemental capsules, um, I don't think you're healthy. A lot of the epidemiology that suggests the significant benefits of vitamin D, which by the way, are often not replicated in studies, although I would argue those studies are often woefully done. Some have speculated that it might be less the vitamin D, the higher vitamin D levels in those individuals and more what they're doing to achieve high levels of vitamin D if they're doing it without supplementation, namely just being outside and being active. You ask me, what do I do with our patients? When I'm talking to a patient, I have a luxury I don't have when I'm speaking to an audience. We can take each person individually and we can look at their skin type and we can look at their family history. We can look at where they live, um, meaning how much you know UV are they exposed to in their natural environment. And we can kind of come up with a way to say, how do you get all the benefits of being outside, exercising, um, without exposing yourself to unnecessary risk? 